and polymers. So our first awardee tonight who falls in that exact same category is Mario Napa. Mario is being <clears throat> given this award to recognize his many significant contributions to DuPont as a leader in safety, science, and technology through his 30-year career with the company. Mario has had an enormous impact in the development and commercialization of environmentally compatible fluorochemical alternatives for use as refrigerants, foaming agents, fire suppression agents, solvents, and synthetic intermediates. And now I'd like to invite Doug and Zika. So we have a presentation and direct Mario and Apple to come up as well. I am humbled and honored to receive the Peterson Award, and I am standing before you on the shoulders of my co-workers, past and present, because as you know, we don't work alone in DuPont. We work on teams, so on behalf of my teams, over the years, I graciously accept this award. First and foremost, I'd like to thank my family, all right, Deborah, my son Brian, and my daughter Christine. Family support throughout my career helped me to be successful at DuPont. We're all a product of our environments, both at home and at work. I thank the voting committee and those who nominated me. This was truly a surprise. And I am deeply grateful. I'd like to thank all of those with whom I've worked over the years, and there are too many to mention, but I have to mention three. For most of my career, I worked very closely with Molly Rao who was a true mentor to me, and without secret, with whom I joined DuPont in 1981. The three of us worked well together for almost two decades on new products and processes, and we published and patented a lot. We functioned well together as a team. I thank all of the associates I've worked with over the years, but especially Robert Van Ness, who has worked with me for almost two decades he tolerated all of my questions and demands, and the two decades are a testimony to his resilience and endurance. And I'm extremely grateful. We are only as good as the people we work with, and I am deeply indebted to him and his excellent laboratory skills. I thank management throughout my entire career for giving me the opportunity to be successful. After being told by George in my manager's office that I had won the award, I immediately went back to my office and looked up the Peterson Award on the intranet to see what the criteria were. <laughs> I remembered some of the past winners, and I am humbled to be in their company. You saw the names a minute ago. I found that the number one criterion for the award is the recipient has made a significant technical contribution, and preferably one that has resulted in commercial success. I will acknowledge the fact that I have been in the right place at the right time, having been lucky to work in an area where the entire portfolio was transformed twice, from chlorofluorocarbons to hydrofluorocarbons and hydrochlorofluorocarbons, and now in the process to hydrofluoroolefins. When I mentioned my luck to a colleague, he said, you took advantage of the situation and made things happen. I am grateful to have been given this opportunity, and I am extremely proud that I can point to numerous plants around the world that are running chemistry that I worked on to make scalable products and profits for DuPont. It is the ultimate gratification to know that I helped to pay my own way. After all, making DuPont a profitable company is the number one reason why we are here. 
Now I want to share three quotes with you that ring true to me and are what I try to live by. The first is the old African saying, if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. You have a better chance of being successful in DuPont if you work well with others on your team. You need to contribute to the team and make the team equal more to the sum of the parts. The second quote is of unknown origin. The truly educated never graduate. I really believe this, and we have a responsibility to both ourselves and the, and the DuPont company to constantly renew ourselves. When you stop learning, you stop living. Going to this conference is an example of renewal. The last quote is also of unknown origin. The best way to predict your future is to create it. Every day you are given ample opportunities at DuPont to define your path, your destiny, and your success. It is really up to you to seize these opportunities, and maybe someday you will appear on this stage to accept this award. You need to take advantage of every opportunity available to you. I thank the DuPont Fellows Forum for presenting me with this award, and all of you for sharing part of the evening with me. Finally, last but not least, I have one more thank you. I want to ch thank Charles Peterson himself. In 1975, I started to use his crown ethers for most of my PhD thesis work. Had he not published that seminal article in 1967, which I read and also practiced the organic synthesis article in 1972, my life may have taken another path and I may not be standing here now. So thank you very much. Peterson Award recognizes Dave Corbin's outstanding scientific contribution.